If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. The IoT Insights platform is actually a program that is running inside the Ruckus IoT controller. And part of it consists of a dashboard, which we're going to talk about right now. As part of the dashboard, I've onboarded several Zig Zigbee sensors, and I have a few door sensors, a flood sensor, motion sensor, thermostat. I have a vape and sound sensor here. And what I've been able to do is upload a floor plan into the center of the screen and drag and drop each one of these sensors onto the floor plan. So as they trigger, I can get a visual indication of where they are on my floor plan. And what I could do is I could just hover over each one of these and uh, you can see where they are located. This is door 01. This is the thermostat. This is the motion sensor. This is the vape sensor and this is the flood sensor. So what I'll show you in a little bit is as they trigger, you'll see the icons change color and the, the events will be noted. And the events will actually be listed here in this display. This keeps track of all the sensors that trigger and the events. And you can see it's a listing of the event type. It has a timestamp and it has the device type. And it also has a camera that is assigned to a location where that device resides. So this is a, a list of the last 50 events. However, each one of these events is captured into our MySQL database, which is useful because we can go back later at a later time and search the database based on different search criteria, whether we're looking for a certain device or a certain location that type of thing and I'll show you that in a little bit as well. In the bottom here, the bottom center, what I can do is I could select an event and I can get a brief summary of that event such as this one that I've highlighted. This, this event is a contact sensor or door sensor trigger. It's located in the lab. It is device door 01. This is the, the preview time. This is the timestamp and camera 2 is in that location so it was able to capture the video of that event. Towards the bottom right here, this is really your control panel that you would use to interact with IoT Insights. As I mentioned before, I have this floor plan here. And what I can do is I could use these buttons here to <clears throat> either advance or stop the floor plans. And I actually have two floor plans that I've loaded and I could start the other one here and you can see that's my other floor plan and what IoT Insights will do, it will cycle between the, the, the floor plans. What I could do is just stop that, stop the cycling right there. This is the search button. As I mentioned, I can query the database so I could search for events based on different criteria. So let's say I wanted to search for all events based on a device. So I would select that category and I would select the device and let's say it is door 01 and I could load that. These are all the the events that happen to door 01. I could highlight this event and then play back a video if I so desired. As I mentioned we have a camera system, we have a VMS. We actually support two VMSs, one by IP Configure and one by Access Networks. I happen to have IP Configure configured in this system right now. So back to the controls here. This is the, the play video button. So I could select an event and play the video. These are clears for some of the alarms. This is the vape sensor clear. This is the sound. This button here is the, the database function button. So this is how you could add, modify, or delete various attributes of the system. So basically we have a concept uh, site locations, site IoT devices, and site video cameras. Within this database setup here you could select one of these attributes and then you could determine what type of function you'd like to do. Whether you'd like to add a new device or location or camera, modify an existing one, delete a device, 
delete a location or delete a camera or if you wanted to you could reinitialize the system here if you wanted to just start over and rebuild IOT insights that's the that's the feature that you would use right there let's see how some of this works what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trigger or open up a door sensor here and I actually opened up two sensors. I actually opened up door 01 and door 02. And you can see here's door 01. That's the icon has changed color. It's been placed in the list here. And the other one's not showing up because I had stopped the cycling of the floor plans. But you can see here's the other uh, door sensor, door 02 on the other floor. Just stop that for a second. And what I can do is, as I mentioned, if I wanted to, I could select an event and play the video. And you'll see here in a second, my big hands opening up that door sensor. So that captured the video of the door sensor being opened. Okay, so as I mentioned, I have a thermostat that has been onboarded into IoT Insights. It's actually the Telconet thermostat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select different events or buttons on the thermostat. For example, I'm going to change the mode. I'm going to go into heat mode here. And uh, you can see what has happened. IoT Insights detected that I changed the thermostat mode and I went into system heat. And that's why it's showing up there. I'm going to go back into cool mode. And you could see that it's detected now that I went into cool mode. Um, the other thing I can do is I can actually bring up the thermostat by searching for environmental events based on a location. So I have it located in my lab. And let's say I wanted to look at the environment for the past hour. So I can just select that. And what it's showing is the a picture of the thermostat. This is the set point. It's set for 70 degrees. It's in cool mode. My current temperature in my room is 81 degrees. This is the, the graph of the uh, temperature over the past hour. This is the humidity in red here. Also, we have live status as to what's going on in this room. So if I open up one of those same door sensors, for example, I'm going to just open up door 01 here. You can see that the icon here changes color, indicating that a door sensor was opened. I'm going to close that. Likewise, with, with other things, I have a flood sensor. I could activate that. And you can see I've activated the flood sensor and it is showing up on the screen as well. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, vape and sound sensor. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to do a vape event, but I can trigger a sound event just by tapping on the sensor. That's what I'm going to do now. And you can see just by tapping on it, the uh, sound sensor is triggered the uh, little speaker icon showed up here where the sound sensor is located it's in the, the list of events right here it came into this display right here so what i can do is i can clear that event using the clear sound event button right here and there it is and it just cleared so i wanted to talk about some of the alarms and icons here on the bottom of the screen these icons represent various alarms that can be happening for instance this one is a a tamper indication that somebody may have possibly tampered with a door sensor or another sensor this is the battery level uh, that indicates maybe a uh, one of the sensor battery levels is low actually you can see it's red right now so i've got a sensor that the capacity is below the the trigger threshold this icon indicates that a device hasn't been seen for a while from our iot controller and maybe out of range or removed and this one is the uh, the signal strength of the connection between the sensor itself and our iot controller and this one is general malfunction reporting sensor indication right here so let's take a look at this at this uh, alarm here because i've got 
an alarm for battery level. So what I can do is I can click the alarm button here and let's select battery level below that and you can see that my door one door zero one sensor the battery capacity capacity is 38.5 percent and the threshold is 40 so that's why it's triggering various events in the database here so this tells me that I need to take a look at that door sensor I think that completes the the video here for IoT Insights hopefully I've given you an introduction taking you around the dashboard and explain some of the capabilities that can be done with IoT Insights. We're going to be adding new features to the platform, so be on the lookout for new functionality coming to IoT Insights.